Thank you all. My speech is about X equals Y. Firstly, I would like to start by doing a mini questionnaire, asking the audience here, how many are women? Put your hand up if you're a female. Okay, okay. Now, out of these women, how many work? Keep your hand up if you have a job. Perfect, thank you. Now, how many out of these women who have a job are also mothers? Perfect, thank you so much. In Finland, nine out of 10 women are mothers who have full-time jobs. Now, the pay gap recorded in 2018 was 84 euro cents for every euro made by a man. And yet many women, nearly the same amount as men, worked in these unequal companies. This is because when maternity leave begins, Kela, the Finnish, Finnish social insurance institution, will pay an allowance of 105 working days for maternity. It's not the same in every country. In a lot of communities, women have a hard time being hired because many, many companies, the big people of the companies, say it would be a waste of money to hire someone who would spend months in maternity leave. And what company wants to waste money, right? Coming back to my speech, the topic given was X. What does X mean to you? Well, to me, X is just a letter in the alphabet, rarely used in common vocabulary. However, it doesn't only have that meaning. It has many, as we've just seen. The meaning I have decided to talk about is X equals Y, as the female chromosome is symbolized by X and the male chromosome by Y. X equals Y symbolizes equality, equality between men and women, equal rights and equal pay. Firstly, what is the definition of equality? Equality is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights, and opportunities. Men and women are pretty equal. If we just look at a century ago, well, not even a century ago, if we look at our grandparents, they were divided into boys and girls at school, and the young men learned how to do manual labor, while the women learned how to clean the house, cook, and sew. But if someone came up to me and said that men and women are not completely and fully equal, I would have to disagree. Even though there are many communities in our societies that are working towards making these inequalities fade. For example, the UAE, the very country we live in, was the second country in the world to make paying women less than men illegal, out of the law. Likewise is the UN setting 17 global goals to be achieved by the end of 2030, one of which being gender equality. I want you to imagine a world where you get paid less than someone else for the exact same job, for the exact same hours, just because you're genetically different. I want you to imagine a world where people think you're only good at something that, that generations of your gender have been doing for thousands of, year, of years. Not that hard to imagine this place, isn't it? In what world is 81 cents equal to a dollar? In what world is the median salary for a man roughly 26% higher than a woman's? In what world is a woman faulted for a man's temptation? the same world we have lived in for hundreds of years. The pink tax. The pink tax is a phenomenon often attributed as a form of gender-based price discrimination, with the name stemming from the observation that many of the products are pink and that pink is a color often associated with femininity, sweetness, romanticism, and innocence. The pink tax is the extra amount that women have to pay for in everyday products, for example, shampoos, razors, haircuts, clothes, dry cleaning, and more. The New York Department of Consumers Affairs found that, on average, women have to pay 7% more for their products than men. I think we're all old enough to talk about menstruation. The Sc Scotland has just removed a tax called tampon tax, which taxes women on their purchases on menstrual products. They did this by investing 31.2 million US dollars a year to provide free pads and tampons in public spaces as one in four women had trouble accessing this before it became free. 10 states across the US have also all nixed the tampon tax. These states are Minnesota, Illinois, Florida, Maryland, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and most recently, Nevada. Inequality isn't only towards women, as many men experience biases as well. For example, in most common households, a boy cannot play with dolls or cry as it is frowned upon. Also, most men start working at a very young age, therefore missing out on a lot of early paternal experiences. The, the first, the most common unnatural death in, man, in men under the age of 45 is suicide. 
Causes of this are toxic masculinity and sexism. It is scientifically proven that men undergo stronger emotional surges than women. Under an MRI scan, a man's brain reacts more violently than a woman's brain. Therefore, it is important that we show and that we tell young boys that showing humanity, showing that you have emotions in you does not make them less masculine. The same thing with girls. Many girls think that doing a sport that requires physical strength makes them less feminine, which is not the case. Domestic violence. Domestic violence is violence or other abuse in a domestic setting, such as in marriage or cohabitation. This very sensitive matter is more prominent towards women. However, one in nine men experience severe partner physical violence. One in three women and one in one in three women and one in four men experience some form of physical violence by an intimate partner. Domestic violence is not the only type of abuse. For example, one in five women and one in 71 men in the U.S. Are, all, uh, are victims of rape. Almost half of female and male victims have been raped by an acquaintance. When I was younger, I had very, very short hair. That's me. Um, I felt the need to wear earrings every time I went out to make sure that people knew my gender. I remember going at this water park and uh, I was wearing my earrings and I was in, on, on a line to get on a slide, and this child in front of me was waiting his turn like everybody else when the lifeguard told him to go. And he said, indicating me, no, let him go first. I remember feeling so sad. I was wearing my earrings. Why did he still think I was a boy? I know most of you would say, he's just a kid, he probably didn't mean it, or he probably heard it from his parents. But if his parents are teaching him this, it means they probably believe it's true. And he will teach it to his children, who will teach it to their children, meaning that for generations to come, we're not going anywhere. I know there are probably thousands of people that, agree, that disagree with me. For example, some people believe that a woman might be the best fit to take care of, their, of the children. And I understand their view. Only women have a gland in their brain where their maternal instinct come from. But they should still be able and should still have the choice to have a job and get paid the same amount as a man. Don't you agree? I play this player versus player battle royale game where the aim is to gather guns and to fight and to kill other players. I was playing the uh, game with my cousin when his friends joined our game and they asked me who I was and I told them my name and that I was their friend's cousin. And they asked me if I was a girl and I said yes, yes I am. This shocked them. I was so confused. I was playing, I, I'm, I'm a girl and I'm playing a gun game. Why is that so shocking and unnatural? Can girls not play a game with guns? I told them, do the requirements and, term and, and terms and conditions say that only boys can play this game? Because I'm a girl, and here I am, in your game, playing with you. I asked myself, where does this kid get this information from? At home? At school? From his parents? We have, te we have parents teaching that if a child has short hair, they're a, gr uh, they're a boy. And that if they like the color pink, they're a girl. I know that I understand that there are a lot of people who disagree with me, but Darwin proved this theory right. Survival of the fittest exists, and unless you evolve with us, we're forced to leave you behind. I want you to imagine a world where there is no inequality. Every gender gets paid, gets paid the same, and where there are no stereotypes, especially fueled by things that are not in our control, such as genetics. I can see this world, I can see this future, and I can see generations thriving in these societies. We can get there. We will get there. I want to remind you that my speech was to inform and spread awareness, not hate. Thank you very much.